the time has come, the walrus said. Ow, ow, ow. Every time I want to say something sarcastic, it hurts. What? Oh, no. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Jockey. Welcome to Crush Crush. Happy Valentine's Day. Almost. It's a couple days from now. All right. I'm so confused. What if I do a full reset? Will that help? Wipe all your progress. Does that help? Do I get the intro again now? I loaded this up before to get the audio working. There we go, we got the intro story now, here we go. <laughs> On a bright sunny day while riding your bike to the local grocery store to buy Pokey and Fountain Dew. Okay, Fountain... Mountain Dew... Pokey? Po is that supposed to be Pocky? Come on... Why didn't they say Maki? Uh? A passing bird distracts you and... Watch out! You and the bird veer out of control right toward a cute girl in your path. You can't stop in time. Oh my god. This feels like in a Douglas Adams books, the conditions it would take for me to start flying. Like, if I miss falling, right? Too niche? Maybe. <laughs> oh no, I've attacked her. As the girls rush to the hospital, the magical manifestation of love and romance appears before you. I've never read a more confusing sentence in my life. What? Okay. That girl's name was Cassie, and I'm going to help you get a date with her. You've already broken the ice, and possibly her ribs. Oh no! I, I've never been so appalled in my life. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell, this is a blind playthrough. I have tons of friends who have played this game before and have recommended it to me, especially after I played Honey Pop a couple of years back for February. Let's continue on. Okay. There she is. Oh, so that- I thought she was cosplaying a mummy or something. It's because she was injured. Oh, no. Sorry, what? Yeah, <laughs> I just realized the prompt says how? Oh, I, I have a job. Okay. Jobs. At least this makes more sense than getting money on dates and honey pop. That didn't make any sense. Here you can find work, make money, and advance your career. You have no credentials or skills. <laughs> you be wow! I've never been so hurt in my life, and I'm not the one who was put in the hospital in the first ten seconds of the game. All right, start flipping burgers, I guess. Two dollars per second. Oh. If only it was that easy. Huzzah! I like her vernacular. some running shoes. I agree. I did a terrible thing, but now I'm clicking you, I guess. What the heck do you want? You here to pay my bills or something? I guess it's the least you can do after running me down like a dog. My name's Cassie, and you better not forget it. Wow, she was East Coast as fuck. Running me down like a dog. <laughs> you can now do a new hobby. Thanks. Try clicking on the hobbies button to pick up your first hobby. Okay, we can do hobbies to increase our stats, like dancing. Oh, look at the moves he's doing! Look at the moves! <laughs> oh god. Uh, hey! Now my eyes are sore from all this rolling. Could it be just a little less frustrating to deal with? But hold on, I'm nearly suave enough to win you over. So we let that stat get all the way up there. There we go. Alright, we got one suave. Uh, <laughs> now we click her a hundred times. I'm sorry. I just want to apologize right at the gate. I'm only halfway. <laughs> more time unlocked, hey. We can do this more. Um, I, th I hope we're almost there. All there right, we go. All right. I can tell you want to bury the hatchet. Sheesh. I, I guess so. Done. I took up okay. dancing for you. I'm all about that. Sweet 
Pot Supreme over here. So now we can do all these other things. And she's got stuff like, oh, to level her up next and get to the next stage. We've got to get a shell. We've got to increase our buff and our tech savviness. All right, well, get that tech going. You don't have any free time. We'll stop dancing and do that then. Because we can only do one at a time. At the store, for diamonds, we can buy more time blocks, but we don't got enough. Um, here, have a shell. We got money for it. Uh, oh, wow, a birthday present four months late. Wow! <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Oh, we got to click her 400 times now. Oh, suddenly another girl appears. One day while wandering around the local arcade, you start playing a weird-looking retro game, not entirely understanding how it works. You start button-mashing around and... Score! Crushed! Does not want. Oh no. It appears you got a high score and destroyed that girl's hard work and dedication. Better try and make her feel better. What? Why does this remind me? There was a, a Lego stop motion series back in the day where there was two clone troopers that would go around on misadventures and one of them was like, Give us the candy. All right, uh, we need to increase our suave to get with her. So now we have two girls we can click on. And we can switch in between clicking them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm high enough on tech savvy. Start getting buff. How do I, oh, I gotta get buff from surfing. Everybody's gone surfing. Surfing USA. So if you can't tell already, this game is a cookie clicker, as the genre is dubbed. You click a lot, and you let bars fill up a lot. But here's the thing. This does not make an entirely entertaining let's play, does it? I don't like the fact that I'm clicking on a woman and that there's like poking and shit. What am I doing exactly? Am I just literally poking her with fingers? We're almost level 2 on buff and that'll be that for Cassie and I guess we can check out Mio then afterwards. But, you know, this kind of thing doesn't exactly make a super entertaining let's play, does it? A lot of it is me just clicking as you've seen the last couple of times. Well, I can oh. take a hint. I'm not some stone-hearted hoppy gargoyle thingamajig. Trying to ask me on a friendly date? Uh, I guess so. Cool, you can have my number. I bet you feel super special now. Okay, so I guess if we do all this now, we can then ask her on a date. <laughs> also, uh, we can change our avatar. We can be a chick. We can change up our hair and such. There's achievements for unlocking people and such. Uh, there's store and all that stuff. There's also DLC for this game, and a lot of it actually. Come to rub my face in your victory. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. I shouldn't get so worked up. Whatever. Ice cream power, deactivate. What? Leave me to my ice cream and identity crisis. Leave me to my ice cream and identity crisis. You know what? I think I will. Hey, we can be- we can start protesting. What? What am I protesting exactly? What? So, in, uh, we need to become more funny by partying so that we can get the restaurant job so that we can- uh, fulfill this requirement. Also, we need to buy her a couple of shells. Oh, I don't have enough money for it. Oh, not five. Hold on. Wow, uh, a birthday present four months late. I, oh, she says the same thing. Okay, and you gotta wait. There's a lot of waiting in these kind of games, you gotta admit. And here's the thing. A lot of my friends really like this game, and so it's gonna be very disappointing to say this, but I can't make a let's play out of this. That's why it's gonna be a one-off, obviously. It's not substantial enough as a game when I'm just sitting here clicking or waiting. And I can see the appeal. It's fun to mess around with stats, to min-max shit, right? I mean, that's the whole appeal of Cookie Clicker games. Oh, here we go. We can, uh, if we're more buff, she likes that. And we can talk to her every now and then. We get extra. Uh, but then we can also keep clicking on her at the same time. So that's how you can get more stuff. More time on the- oh, the Valentine's Day. Desdemona. I suppose it's either talk to you or the wall. Not gonna lie, it's a tough choice. <laughs> Yo, I could agree with that. You played for 15 minutes, have an achievement. This is the kind of thing in these games where they'll just give you stuff all the time for no reason. Uh, you maybe wanna grab a coffee sometime? I love coffee, and I also love my mugs, which you can drink coffee in. Link in the description. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, though. I'm way out of your league. Hey, hot stuff. Oh, what? You're starting to slow down a bit. Don't worry, I've got just the thing. What? Oh, okay, so we unlock a picture with her. What? Okay, 
All right, well, I'm not going to concern myself over that. Uh, familiarity breeds contempt, bucko, know what I mean? Something insulting a bit, wow. All right, like I said, I can't exactly make an entire Let's Play out of this sort of thing when it's just clicking over and over again. Here's what I'll say, though. It could make an entertaining live stream. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to stream it on Twitch. Maybe I'm allowed to stream it on YouTube. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, or in Discord, or wherever. Let me know whether you want me to do a live stream of this, if I can. And, and maybe we'll come back to this. But for now, there's not much else to say about it. You click on girls. You do stats. <laughs> so you know what? Instead, for today's holiday season, we're going to try out Honeycam Studio. Let's give it a shot. I have not played this one before, so it's brand new. Oh my good goddamn. Okay. Oh, hey. Look who decided to show up. Hey, it's Q. You true, you do exist. What? Oh, are we not the same person? I guess not. I'm not sure if this game is alternate universe or or what. It's different art style. We both know I'm doing you a solid by letting you manage my girls. So in this game, we run a a, a cam studio. Uh, <laughs> this is the closest you're getting to female interaction right now. That should be payment enough, and it will be since that's the only payment you're getting. <laughs> All right, so we get to choose who we're starting out with. Oh, look, from the original game, we got Tiffany, Nikki, and Kiana. Very different art style, like I said. I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest, but, um... I, I said something about breakfast at Tiffany. Let's just skip the tutorial for now uh, and get into the main gameplay. We gotta fill a vacant spot with her. This will be fun. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> oh, she's got the same line, wow. So this game is one of those, well, it's actually kind of like a lot of mobile games where it's all timing based, where you you got the clock going by, you got all the different stats. I guess cookie clickers are also kind of like that, but this is even more niche because it's oh, got, shit. oh, oh yeah. We're not running off slave labor here. We do have to pay these lovely ladies. I'll show you how we do payroll. Do me a favor and open up the books real quick. The payroll section shows a list of employed girls, what their current hourly rates are, and what we owe them. So yeah, we're managing these people's jobs as our cam girls. If we have the um, hand, you can process the payroll at any time by clicking this pay button. Yeah. But be careful because the payroll will automatically process every night at midnight, even if we can't afford it. So okay, we got our model agency here. We got the photo studio, the cam studio. Uh, Tiffany, why don't we go to the model agency? which it looks like she's doing her thing, takes a little time. So we can see what these do here. These uh, add fans, these add cash. We should probably add fans, right? Because if you got fans and then you go do the cam studio thing, we make money. Oh, we gotta collect it here with clicking. Okay, I should have done that before. My bad, I like I said, first time playing this. Oh, we got the fans. Oh God, we know they're fetishes. Oh God. Oh, also we get a new recruit here. Yeah. There are a couple things to keep in mind. The music note represents her talent level. The higher her talent level is, the more money she earns per fan while camming. How judgmental. Also, I'd like to note that this person just has less talent. Damn. You know what? I feel bad. Let's go with Zoe here. Zoe's been recruited. Uh, we can't add right now unless we go into girls and switch her out like so. Now, waiting instructions, she's a robot. So it's kind of like a lot of other mobile games, also kind of like Crush Crush in that way, where it's a clicker kind of game, you're managing your resources and your stats, but again, this isn't an entertaining kind of let's play. I'm just back in the same spot I was before. What I need is a real, proper, full game to play for Valentine's Day. And let's be honest, I'm just holding it over. I have been for over a year now. It's time we move on to the proper next entry in the series. Are you guys as ready as I am? Well. I hope you are more so, because I'm not ready at all. 